now to the magic mechanic himself, Larry Perry. Yeah, I was just going to let him let the folks know. You know, this is probably one of our slower phone days. So if you all want to hop on board, eight four four and the station that you're listening to, five eighty WDBO. If you all want to go ahead and call in and uh, get indexed, so to speak, uh, we'll have you ready to hop on board during the second hour here, coming up right after the news at four o'clock. All right, let's head over to Fred. Fred, you got a boat. Let's work on it. Uh, hey, Larry, Fred, I've talked to you a couple times uh, in the past, but um, the latest is that uh, the engine, uh, my port engine, I have uh, two 350s in a big boat, and uh, the port engine is uh, overheating, and we went through uh, a new impellers, pumps, uh, thermostats, all that sort of thing. But I ran across a new term yesterday that I hadn't heard before, it's called a heat sink. What can you tell me about a heat sink that's uh, located near the coil? Um, not anything that's going to cause the engine to run hot like that. Um, you know, on, on those engines, what what year model are we talking about, Fred? Well, they were installed in the boat in '88. Okay, uh, they, so they replaced three twenty sevens. All right, so these are um, carbureted. 350s, right? Correct. Okay. Now, the the manifolds on these, um, if they get plugged up, they can cause an engine to run too hot. Um, have, have Has anybody explained to you what happens if those get plugged up? Um, well, I, I can understand that. I, I don't know how the... Uh, I don't know. We haven't checked that, and I'm not sure how to check it except for just this disassembly. Yeah. Well, well, let me let me explain to you what will happen is uh, over a period of time. Let's say those are original exhaust manifolds on that via, on that boat. See, you, you're you're the coolant is going to have to run through them in order to cool the exhaust down. Um, and now, what will happen is, see, if if they get restricted, the the all the the coolant flow coming through that engine is also going to be restricted. Um, you know, so it can't if if it can't flow through because the exhaust manifolds that that's the end of the coolant. It's got to run through the exhaust. If it doesn't do that to cool those manifolds down, that gets so hot they catch a boat on fire. So what you got to do is, you, you know, if you get one that you don't have any other issues with, everything else looks good on it. You know, uh, because on the one that you have there, if I'm thinking right, probably a Mercruiser application. Um, you will have what is known as a uh, a C pump. Uh, now, your your C pump is on the front of the engine, right? Right. Okay. Um, you know, they it might be worth looking all the way down into the out drives to make sure there's nothing restricted there. Um, you know, and you 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 should be able to take one of the hoses off of that C pump. You know, the one that actually feeds into the engine and actually, you know, put one of those out drives in like a big barrel or something full of water uh, or, or put some good engine muffs on it and see if that impeller is pulling water through the out drive and, and, and pump them back out. That's going to be the first thing you want to do. Uh, you know, a big garbage can or something like that that you could set that out, you know, tilt that out drive down into, start it up in neutral and see if it's pumping water right straight out of that C pump that's on the front of the engine. Now, if it's not pumping, you may have something plugged up in the out drive, you know, feeding the C pump. But now, if everything, if, if you get good water flow out of it, um, you know, there's really, you know, that's going to go into the engine. Then you've got your circulation pump, which is a typical automotive water pump that's actually circulating the, the water throughout the engine and then on out through the exhaust, you know, so... It, it, that's about as simple as it gets. I mean, I know that I've seen people run into issues with this, but, it, it, you know, if you don't have any uh, head gasket problems, which is rare on those, um, you know, in most cases, it, it's it's either going to be the exhaust manifolds are plug slap solid and the water can't flow out of them, nor can it, you know, flow through the engine at this point, or either something from the C-pump on back into through the out drives is got a restriction somewhere. It may have sucked something up and may be lodged up in there. Who knows? But but that's the route that you're going to have to take with it. First, put the out drive in something, you know, in, in some water. Even if you got to back it into a, a boat ramp, 
set that thing down, take the hose, the output hose off of the C pump, start it up. It should come out of there like a fire hose, you know, and if you got a good flow through it to go back into the engine, the only thing left is your circulation pump, you know, which is your regular water pump on the front of the motor. And if the impeller isn't rotted off of it, you know, which in a Marine's mirror, in, in the case of a Marine, that impeller should be a stainless steel impeller. Uh, and, and then, of course, you know, somebody could have put an automotive one on there and there's no impeller left. Then the other issue is, is the exhaust manifolds. If they're plugged up, the coolant can't, the water can't get out. So, so they won't be no flow. Fred, those are pretty simple instructions. I know there's a little work involved with it, but whatever you do, make sure you call or holler back at us and let us know what you all did find out. I'm sure there's somebody else out there in listener land that's probably got the same type of issue, and we appreciate your call. Hi, folks. Larry Perry here. For automotive information, maybe you got automotive questions on cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Maybe you're thinking about maybe purchasing a used vehicle, and maybe you just want my opinion. Tune in to the Magic Mechanic Radio Show every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. Uh, also, tune in to our Magic Mechanic YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll all get together, maybe fix a few cars while we're at it.